it imposes a lot of pressure. And how we handle the pressure can either be the choice of a life or death. How many of y'all want to make it to the NFL? That's why you do this, right? So you have to you have these pressures on you all the time. So I want to know before I really get into what I'm talking about today, how do you handle the pressure? What do you do to handle the pressure that you're up under? All the times that you have to be out here practicing, traveling for games and everything like that, being away from your family. Some of you probably have family issues at home that you have to deal with. But you can't focus on that because you have to focus on football. And this is what you want to do. So how do you handle that pressure? Anybody? Yes. Meditation. Meditation. Thinking about so positive thoughts, positive reinforcement on how you might handle your situation. Who else? How do you handle the pressure? Yes, you in the back. Find something that keeps busy. Like what? Like I'll say like like box. Much better at something. Boxing. Okay, boxing is good. Um, give you the aggression too. Who else? What? Yes, sir. Out. Working out, yes. Managing your time, right? After you do all that, all, after you do all that practicing, yes, sir. No pressure. How's no pressure? Huh? No, I'm asking you. You said there's no pressure. Why? How is there? Okay, tell me about. I would, yeah, help me understand that. But that don't mean pressure don't come along with it. I mean, that's just life. There's pressure, I think, anything you do. There's pressure. That's what I'm trying to say. There's anything, so there is pressure. It's just how you handle the pressure is what's important. Because pressure comes along with it. Right? <laughs> yes. Anybody else? Yes, sir. Okay. Pray. 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 Meditate. Pray. What else? Yes. Have to give up that life like you have to give up your life. I mean, you give up because you give up a lot, right? So, how many normal people do you know have to make the same sacrifices that you have to make? A lot. Like, you look at your parents, if your parents meet up and work anywhere between like a night shift or an all day shift and stuff like that, yeah, we gotta get up and go to class, and yeah, we gotta like be at practice and get away from and stuff like that. But at the same time, they're working all day to like pay the bills, try to keep food on the table. So you said you can relate to them, mm -hmm. but do you think, but because you work hard, I understand that your parents work hard, but is it the same type of work that you have to put in to lifting up the weights and watching what you eat, the working out, the working out, the working out, the learning plays? Is it the same or is it a little different? It's a lot different, right? It's different in which way? <laughs> yes. So how many, that's what I'm asking the question, how many normal people do you know have to go through the same thing, the same sacrifices that you go through every day. Be a football fan. Okay. Other athletes. Yes, other athletes. Okay, football. It's, um, it's a boys club, right? A warrior sport. You're trained over and over again to look at a target, to attack that target, to exploit that target, to do whatever you can to win. Right? And after you live that life so long, because you've been doing it, like you said, from little league to middle school to high school, and now you're in college. You have to learn how to suspend your logic. Suspend your logic. You know what I mean by suspending logic? Suspend. You've you got to lose your common sense. You don't lose your sense when you play football. Because if I was 200 pounds and I saw somebody 300 pounds and I had to tap with them, my common sense says, they're going to crush me. <laughs> Right? So there's no way, if I was thinking about it, there's no way we're running up on a 300 pound first because it's a losing battle. But you do it all the time. So you have to suspend your logic. You have to suspend your common sense in order to be a football player. You get it? Make sense? So after you do this for so 
alone, it becomes a habit for you. We say anything after 21 days become a habit. Suspending your logic for so many years, we sometimes we don't think before we act. We just go and do it, right? Suspending your logic. Some of you have to be role models, right? How many of y'all like being role models? But role models come with a big responsibility. It comes with more pressure. Because we're looking at you as being perfect. We look up to you. And if you happen to make a mistake, then all of a sudden we look down upon you. Flash you in the newspaper, on Twitter, on Facebook, and everything. Being a role model, being a football player, giving up yourself, I worked so hard to get to this point that all of a sudden I made one mistake and my whole world got come crashing down. It's not an easy job that you do. That's why I commend you all. Give yourself a hand clap for that. <laughs> so I want to know next is um, you all have been training, working hard for this moment, trying to get it together, coming to practice, and everything like that. So there are times in on your team, that you got players who don't feel like practicing, who are tired, who may not be giving a hundred percent, right? Is that does that happen sometimes? Yes. Sometimes you're just not in the mood. How does that make you feel when you deal with somebody like that? How does that affect your relationship? But seven, you don't mess with him anymore, right? Because actually, although there's no I in team, if they are messing up, it really affects you. And it interferes with your dreams and aspirations. Because if you're the running back, and you're supposed to run the ball, but you don't know the plays, how you going to run the ball to score a touchdown to win the game? So how do y'all deal with somebody who's giving less than 100%? You gotta call them out. You call them out in front of themselves, or by themselves, in front of the team. How you got that? 